home and we'll be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> And now, we'll join the outfit from Red Horse Ranch. You'll remember that Mr. Carter put Steve Bradford in charge of the outfit following Alabama's injury. But Alabama couldn't stay away from the roundup. So in spite of Bradford and the big boss, he rode off to join the outfit. It's night. While several of the boys are singing around the campfire, Alabama and Tenderfoot are out guarding the herd. Lay down there, you doggies. Nothing's going to hurt you. Lay down. <laughs> Isn't it quiet out here tonight, Alabama? Yeah. Just that cattle call. Way over there. It sure takes old Tex Owens to make them lie down. If they all sang like Tex, I don't reckon they'd ever be in a stampede. The cow cows are a little nervous tonight, aren't they? Yeah, they're bound to be. But we'll have them all back at the ranch before long, though. <laughs> Too soon for me. <laughs> I'm surprised to hear you say that, Tenderfoot. What do you suppose Rose would say to that? Oh, oh, Rose. Well, of course I would like to see her, but <laughs> I don't know. This, out here under the stars, it's what I came out west for. It's something no cowboy could do without, Tenderfoot. Living, working, and sleeping out under the open sky. You know, Alabama... It isn't just what I expected. No? Everyone talked about how rough the West was. Oh. Shooting and fighting. <laughs> it's not like that. I reckon it couldn't be. Of course, there's men in this country that don't know no law but their own. But, well, take that song now that boys are singing over there by the campfire. I reckon it was first sung by some buckaroo out riding knighthood, just like we are now. Cowboys heaven. Yes, I've been listening. Strange how music carries on this night air. Tonight I'm a tired, weary cowboy. I've been in the saddle all day, searching the hills and the valleys. Riding around them, Tenderfoot, slow and easy. Some of these fool mavericks want to be everywhere except where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Lay down there. That's it. <laughs> Talking to them does help, doesn't it? <laughs> sure it does. It keeps them quiet. <laughs> you know, Alabama, I believe this is the first time I've ever really enjoyed hearing those coyotes howl. <laughs> you used to give me the creeps. <laughs> so Rose was telling me. Oh. Oh, she told you that, Alabama? Yeah. 
Oh, I guess I have been a tenderfoot, sure enough, since I joined the Red Horse outfit. Well, we all think different of you now, tenderfoot. Even old Dad Carter's beginning to take a liking to you. And uh, Rose. Rose? Uh, I hope she does. If she thought I was really worth something, I don't think I'd mind what anyone else said. Rose is a mighty fine girl, just like her mother was. You couldn't pick a better one anywhere on the range. I don't think so either. But, uh, Alabama, yeah. when you were hurt, I noticed something about Rose. Hmm? I don't know just what it was. But... About, about Rose? What do you mean, Tenderfoot? Well, I don't know. But, Alabama, if Rose was in love with you, would that... Would you? Uh, Rose in love with me? <laughs> Whatever gave you an idea like that? Well, the way she took care of you and all that. Well, I wouldn't blame her, Alabama. Now, listen, you just get that plum out of your mind, Tenderfoot. No gal like Rose is going to care nothing about a tough old buckaroo like <laughs> me. Forget it. Well. But go ahead, boy. If you can win her, more power to you. Well, all right. <laughs> Move back there, you snorting little doggie. You won't find your ma out there, or your pa either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think them calves have a brain in their heads. That herd never lays quite still, does it? No. Always some fool cow wants to find some new place to sleep. They're pretty well quieted down now, though. Oh, getting sleepy, Tenderfoot? Oh, oh, a little. I'm not used to this staying in the saddle night and day. I'll make it, though. Sure you will. Trouble is, it's so quiet, mm -hmm. and that big moon up there makes a fellow want to stretch out on the ground and just look up at it. <laughs> I guess you and Tex are agreed on that. Yeah. Listen to him sing to those doggies. By the tramway, when the nightingale song is in you, never, never With my lover, I stray by the sweet silvery light. can write songs and poetry on a night like this. Alabama, you don't know how glad I am that you finally joined the outfit on this roundup. Oh, I couldn't have missed it if I'd have wanted to. I reckon Dad Carter was plenty put out when he found out I'd left the ranch. Well, honestly, Alabama, I can't understand how Mr. Carter could have put a fellow like Steve Bradford in charge of the outfit huh. made you stay back there at the ranch. You've been foreman for a long time, haven't you? Yeah. It is just Bradford's talking that did it. Yes. I ain't put no blame on Carter for but that. I can't understand how Rose and Mr. Carter can take to him like they do. Well, uh, Bradford saved Rose's life once, you know. Yes. Rose feels obligated to him for that. I suppose so. And he told Dad that I was laid up too bad to take the outfit out. Bradford and his slick talk, that's all. Well, Bradford's never told anyone his reason for buying up so much land in the country. He's still trying to get a hold of the red horse, isn't he? Yeah, he's trying a lot harder than you think, Tenderfoot. You know, I was sort of glad I had to stay back at the ranch for a spell. You were? Bradford's being gone gave me a chance to do a little talking around. Oh, I... I found out one thing, that Bradford came here from down in El Paso. El Paso? Anything else? Well, nothing much about Bradford. I did get a chance to slip a letter off to the sheriff of El Paso. He might know something about Bradford's life down there. Well, when do you suppose you'll get word back? Oh, I ain't right sure about that, Tenderfoot. There's another thing I got to do back at the ranch. Yes? That was to watch Red a little more. Oh, you didn't find out where he was running away to, did you? No, but I did see something else about that horse. Uh, about Red? Tenderfoot, if what I figured out is right, Red might solve this whole mystery about Bradford for us. Red? 
But what could he have to do with Bradford? <laughs> I can't say as to that uh, just yet. How long, you honorary coyotes? Ain't nothing for you down in this herd. Well, but Alabama, what could a horse have to uh, do? Listen. The boys are singing Bob song. Oh. <laughs> I bet the coyotes will like that one. Night herding on an open sky. There's little wonder that Tenderfoot's so thrilled by the romance of the West. And Alabama's going to keep a mighty close eye on Bradford. We can see that. He may think Bradford has a special reason for wanting to take charge of the Red Horse Roundup. Let's not miss our next visit with this happy band of singing cowboys. Mm -hmm. 